Sons and daughters of God, pressing into the Lord, we are the chosen, the elect, the remnant of this world, and what the people that God has, has chosen. If you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you are one of us, for sure. And God will have you doing mighty things for him one of these days, soon, and we're the final generation. The last generation before the millennial reign of our Lord Jesus Christ, when he sets up his throne here on earth for 1,000 years. And you can be a part of rebuilding this earth for 1,000 years uh, in the millennium, but you have to qualify. See, You can be a part of uh, the, the two witnesses. They'll be here before uh, this next decade is through, and um, it'll be Moses and Elijah, and uh, we'll be... Uh, some of us will be doing things with them, mighty things. Can you imagine working with Moses? How about Elijah? Yeah, taking orders from them because they're going to be the, tact, uh, the captains. We'll get to go all kinds of places and do all kinds of, oh boy, some awesome things. Seven times more powerful than the Lord Jesus Christ did when he was on earth. And you know that's amazing. But first we must qualify. And you still have time to qualify because they're not here yet. But things are getting bad all over the world. And I, get, I got some bad news. It's not going to get much better. It might go up and down, up and down for a while. But it's probably never going to be back. get back to the same way it was before. But this is part of the training process. It's not punishment for the children of God, the children of Israel. <clears throat> this is training for our minds, our spirits, to uh, really believe in God, to trust in God. Because you're going to have to now. You don't have a choice but to press into the Lord and trust and get a relationship like you've never had before. You really don't want to wait any longer. It's time to put down the things that don't belong in, your, in our lives. You know, that includes me, too. And uh, anything I have left, uh, it's got to go. You know, um, And then put down those things and then press into the Lord and uh, get that relationship right so that um, we can be used by God. If you don't want to be used by God... That's okay, too. You don't have to. But the ones of us that really want to do some mighty things for the Lord, you know, it's time to purify ourselves in the, in, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you can, you can do that through God. He's got a fire. that all. Uh, if, if you have the desire, that's all it takes. You have the, the, the want to, to be better, to be pure, to get rid of things. That's, where, that's the beginning right there. Some things will go easily. Some things will take a long time to, to go. But um, but the desire is there. And the Lord sees that. He sees every single thing that's going on with you in your life. Everything that's going on. Nothing goes unnoticed. And in fact, you got angels taking notes. See how you're doing all day long. He's there. The Holy Spirit's there. The Most High God is in, inside of you too. It, you're, they're all inside of us. But the amazing thing is they're on the outside of us. And God is stretched across this earth right now. So he sees everything all of the time with every single individual. See, so he labels you as an individual. He knows every single hair on your body where it's placed, where it's numbered. And more than that. So um, here in Exodus, Exodus uh, chapter 13, number 21, the Lord went before them in the day of the, uh, in the pillar of the cloud to lead them the way by night the pillar of fire to give the light the pillar of fire is inside of us the, the pillar of fire was over the children of israel after they were kicked thrust they were kicked out of israel i mean excuse me kicked out of egypt you know, you, you know the 10 plagues that pharaoh had, had enough of it he said you guys got to get out of here you know you, you guys are just you guys have destroyed my country <laughs> your God is, is, is too much for us. Go and take your God with you, is what he said. So the pillar of fire is light, and um, it is inside of us. So cover yourself with the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ is, is the light. Close your eyes. Imagine yourself clothed in the light of the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep yourself covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. You stay holy and you stay pure. And God will lead you uh, out of trouble, around trouble. You see, he's done this already many times in your life and you probably don't even realize he's kept you out of trouble. See, uh, uh, chapter 13 of Exodus, uh, number 17 says, God led them 
not through the way of the land of the Philistines. The Philistines were, were warriors. Of course, you know Goliath and the Philistines. They're always up to no good. Um, and um, two million people go, uh, uh, walking through uh, the desert, you know, going to make a lot of noise, especially with all their animals and all the carts and stuff and, the, and um, you know, carrying stuff and children and stuff like that. It's, it's just impossible for anybody not to, you know, see two million people walking around, especially when you got scouts out, you know, scouts out checking out the land and, you know, and stuff and making sure no enemies are approaching and such and such. So um, God led them, um, not, he, he led them right around the, the Philistines. The Philistines didn't see him. I'm sure the, they were very close to the Philistines, but the Philistines didn't know that they were even close. This is what God is doing for people today. He's done it for you before. Down in verse um, 18, it says, so God led the people um, by the way, through, the, uh, by the way, to, uh, by the way of the wilderness to the, to the Red Sea. So now we're at the Red Sea and God, uh, has a, a pillar of fire is in the side of the pillar of fire, which is above the people of Israel at this time. Okay. And, um, Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's got them cornered. The people of Israel are ready to go back with Pharaoh because they're scared to death. They don't know how to fight. They're just, they just want to give up. Don't ever give up. You see, this is this is this story is an example of today is what it is. So uh, what happens is uh, the, God goes to the back of the pillar of the fire and, um, and it, now it's darkness for the for the Egyptian armies. They can't see anything. It's, it's pitch black. So uh, Moses stretches out, stretches out his hand to the after the after the children of Israel cried out to God. And said, help. They said, basically, they said, help. Did you know it's okay to, to, to ask God for help? So what God does is uh, opens up the Red Sea. It's dry land. It's not muddy. It's just totally dry. Dry, dry as a desert. You got a wall of wire on, uh, water on both sides. And the children of Israel, to almost, almost 2 million people, walk right through the water. Uh, walk right through the sea. See, God is with the people. God is with you. God will do these things for you if you only trust and if you believe. See, it only took one man, and Moses and Aaron was there too. It only took a couple of men's faith to be able to, to do this for two million people. You see, so it doesn't take a whole lot of faith. But you got to start somewhere. You have to, you must trust and believe in God. So the people of Israel go through the Red Sea to the other side with the with the Pharaoh's army. Being in pitch blackness, and see the uh, chasing after him. Now, is that dumb or what? You see, God, God made God hardened the Pharaoh's heart and made him do stupid stuff. You see, because any man with common sense would know better than to go into the middle of a a sea, <laughs> the middle of the sea, chasing after, chasing after people in the middle of the sea. I I wouldn't have done it, you know, with with the right heart. But God hardened uh, Pharaoh's heart. And they, he took all of his armies, hundreds of thousands of men, probably, chariots and horses, chased after him in pitch black. The Israelites could see perfect, you know, because it was nighttime. It was nighttime when they went through. And um, the Israel had, uh, Israelites had light. The, cl the, cl the, the cloud was, it gave them light at night. And it gave them fire to keep them warm at night. And so they went on through. And by morning, they were there on the other side. Pharaoh's army stumbling around in the dark. God does this for people all of the time. He's going to be doing it more and more and more. And then, so God sticks his head through the cloud and looks at Pharaoh's army. Pharaoh's army gets petrified. It's pitch black, but they can see, the, they can see God. They turn around and run back the other way. They got their horses here so so afraid. And you got to realize God does, is doing this for people nowadays and he's done it for you before and he will continue to do this. He's going to be doing more and more of this. They they're 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 pressing their uh, horses and their chariots so fast and so hard and so vicious that the wheels are falling off the chariots. And if you know if your wheels fall off the chariots, you're stuck. So they were all stuck. And now the, the, the Israelites are on the other side and um, the waters close up. And every one of Pharaoh's and his army, his, him and his army, 
drowned in the Red Sea. This is happening in people's lives now. And this can happen in your life now. You cover yourself with the blood of the land, stretch in for purity, press into God, get to know him. These things are happening for people who try. You see, the people that want freedom. You see, people that people that want to know God. You know, and now, now all the army is dead. How horses are drowned up, chariots in the bottom of the ocean. And now we get a chance to to uh, to um, do this declaration, which shows exactly and a prayer, which is show you exactly. This is going to be a very powerful prayer, and I pray that and I hope that you would agree with this prayer for you, your family, your lives, and your churches, your your uh, your communities, your churches, you know, because um, it's going to be it's going to be very strong, and just remember God is with you and He loves you very very much. You know, we are Israel. We are remnant, sons and daughters of God. Chosen, the elect. So, um, Exodus chapter 15, verses 1 through 10. Don't miss this one. Subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't already subscribed. Give, a, give, one, give that like, uh, hit that like, so that uh, the thumbs up thing, because it helps the channel. And it helps other people or you know, foreign countries be able to learn how to pray and read out of the, um, do a declaration out of the Bible. Do this with your family every day. Maybe not this exact one, but this one is strong. If you can do this one uh, throughout the next decade, I'll tell you what, you're gonna you're doing you're gonna do well. Ready? Mm -hmm. Then Moses, then sang Moses, Moses and, the and the children of Israel. Israel. This song unto the Lord, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. With his rider hath he thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength, and, my, and he is become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him in habitation. My Father is God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is in his Pharaoh's chariots and his cast into the root. His chosen captives are also drowned in the Red Sea. The dead are covered in the bottom of the stone. Thy right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, have dashed into pieces of the enemy. And in the greatness of his excellency, thou hast overthrown them and rose up against thee. Thou settest forth thy wrath. Thou consumed them as stubble. stubble, and with the blast the of his nostrils, the waters were gathered, gathered up together. together. The flood the stood upright as a heap, heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. The, the enemy said, I will pursue, and I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Thou didn't blow with thy wind, the sea covered them. And they sink as lead in the mighty, mighty waters. The Lord will do this for you in your situation today. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for dying on the cross for us, Lord. What a wonderful gift. Your life for our lives. And we have now we have eternal life. We thank you for it. And Father. We love you, and we thank you for forgiving us of everything we've ever done wrong. Lord Jesus, the children of Israel sing a song to you, and this is it. Father, in Jesus' name, your son, our father, Moses, and the children of Israel sing this song. The Lord spoke, saying, I will sing a song unto the Lord. We're singing a song to you, Lord, because you, tri you triumph for us. You are triumphant, triumphant for us, Lord Jesus. You triumph for us gloriously, Lord, all the time in ways that we know it and ways that we don't know it, in ways that we would never understand. You triumph for it. You, you go before us in our ways, Lord Jesus Christ, and you walk after us in our ways, Lord, and you surround us, Lord Jesus, with your, with your heavenly host, your angels, Lord Jesus Christ, and they are with us all the time, and they keep us 
from getting hurt all the time and getting in trouble all the time, un unseen things in the future, Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you that you stop the enemy, that you break the power of all the enemies that are coming against each and one of us as individuals and as a group, Lord Jesus Christ, and all across this world, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, the horse and his rider has been thrown into the sea. And we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for throwing all the horses and all the riders of the horses, all of them unclean, ugly things that, that, that are destroyers, Lord Jesus Christ. They are out to destroy us, to destroy your people, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for throwing them in the sea because that's where they belong, Lord Jesus Christ. We love your power. We love your glory, Lord Jesus. You're wonderful. The Lord is my strength and you are the strength of us. You are the strength of every one of us, Lord Jesus Christ. You are in us with your power and your might and your strength. And we thank you and we pray for courage, Lord Jesus Christ, that you will get, make us all courageous along with your strength. And we sing a, we sing a wonderful song to you of glory, Lord Jesus Christ. And he, and you have become our salvation. We thank you much for, for our eternal salvation, Lord Jesus Christ, and salvation here on earth, because you are our God. You are my God. He is my God. And I will prepare him a habitation. You have a permanent part in my life from now on, Lord Jesus Christ. 24-7, I'm trying to talk to you, trying to trying to get to know you better and, and, and trying to have a better relationship. The people want a better relationship. The people want to, to, you to, to inhabit them, Lord Jesus, and rise up inside of them with power and might, Lord Jesus Christ, in love and glory, Lord Jesus Christ. We're ready for it, Lord. The people are ready all across the world, Lord Jesus Christ. You are our Father's God, Abraham and Jacob, Isaac, Lord Jesus Christ. And that's who we, that's who our fathers are. And we, we, that's who we serve. We serve their God and we exalt, we exalt you. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, the Lord is a man of war and the Lord is his name. Father, go to war for us. Lord, go to war for us. You are a man of war. Thank you, Lord. And we're men and we're women of war, Lord Jesus. We're just like you. And you're created in your image, men and women of war, and the Lord is your name, and you are our Father, and you are our King, and you are our God, Lord Jesus Christ. Go to war for us, Father. We need you to war for us. We need to stand. We need you to, to block the enemy, to stop the enemy. Pharaoh's chariots and his, his uh, host, he hath, cast it, hath he cast into the sea, and his chosen captains are drowned in the Red Sea. That's right, Father. Drown them all in the sea. All of our enemies, Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you for it. We thank you in advance for it. For, for, for drowning them. all of the pharaohs that come after us, Lord Jesus Christ. And that go before us. Drowning all, all of the captains, Lord Jesus. That cast them all into the sea. All of those chosen captains, Lord Jesus Christ. Drown them all. Drown them all. And we thank you for drowning them all. And destroying them all. And rendering them all powerless. Taking all their breaths away. And permanently getting rid of them. In the depths that have covered them. They sank into the bottom as a stone. Yes, Lord. Tie up their ankles with chains, Lord Jesus Christ. Put the heaviest stones ever made, Lord Jesus. The size of planets. And let them all sink to the bottom of the Red Sea, Lord Jesus Christ, and let them be no more in the mighty name of Jesus. It's what the people pray. This is what we want for ourselves. This is what we want for our families. This is what we want for our communities, our churches, our houses, our property, our families, our kids, everyone we love, everyone who's doing right, righteous people, Lord Jesus Christ. And save everybody, Lord Jesus Christ. And sink, sink them all to the bottom as a stone. And thy right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, hath dashed into pieces the enemy. Lord Jesus Christ, use that right hand over and over again. Use it once. Use it as many times as it takes, Lord Jesus Christ. But just 
relinquish the enemy, blind them, confuse them, scramble their thoughts, divide their camps, cut off their communication and confuse it on top of that and dash them all into pieces, pieces as small as sand, millions of pieces, one by one, Lord Jesus, and render them all powerless forever and ever. From now on, Lord Jesus Christ, have your way, your perfect way. And in the greatness of thine excellency, thou hast thrown them uh, that rose up against the, the Thou settest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. So that's okay with us, Father, that you just, you can be, you take your anger and consume every last one of these unclean spirits or these demonic forces, all these powers, Lord Jesus, that's coming against the people, coming against us individually, coming against our families, our churches, our communities, our countries. Lord Jesus Christ, this world, we're tired of them. We're sick of them. We don't want any more of it, Lord Jesus Christ. We pray that you just bind them forever. Thick chains of, of, of fetter, rent of, so they can't move and keep them underneath the ocean, Lord Jesus Christ. Consume them all as stubble, Lord Jesus. And never let them rise again. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were, were gathered together and the flood stood upright as a heap and the depths were congealed and the heart of the sea we thank you for making a way for us to get through to the other side when our, and, and, and swallowing up our enemy behind us, Lord Jesus Christ. You made it easy for us to get through. We got through just fine. We had heat. We had light. We had food. And we got to the other side, all of our families and all of our belongings, and we're fine. And you're going to continue to do this for us over and over and over again, especially here. In the end times, last days, and we know it, we love you, and we're pressing in to have better relationships with you, so that we know these things that are going to happen for us, Lord Jesus. We don't need to have any doubt. We just want faith. And the enemy said, I will pursue. I will overtake. I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. Father, destroy them. Like you said in Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 27, I will thrust out the enemy from before you and I will destroy them. Father, destroy them all. Don't let them overtake anything except themselves. Let their reward be, be seven times more vicious that come back, come back, go back to them instead. Let their reward be, let them be divided instead. Let them lust after themselves instead. We thank you, Lord. And let them, let them stab themselves with their own swords, Lord Jesus. All of them, all across the earth, all across the land, what's underneath the land, what is on the land and what is in the sky, everything that's unlike you, Lord Jesus Christ, let them devour their own selves, Lord Jesus Christ, in, in, a, in a hail of confusion and pain. Thou didst blow, did blow with thy wind, with, with the wind, and the sea covered them, and sank and led in the mighty waters. And we thank you for, for covering, covering them all up with a simple breath, Lord Jesus Christ, with the water. And now the bodies are floating all over the place. Thousands and thousands of bodies of our enemies floating drowned in the Red Sea. And we sing praises to you, Lord Jesus Christ, because they never, they can't touch us anymore. They can't beat us anymore. They can't torture us anymore. They can't use us anymore. They can't hurt us anymore, Lord Jesus Christ, because of you. And you have done this many a times for us. And you're going to continue to do it even more so now in this next decade. And we love you for that, Lord Jesus Christ. And we praise you and give you all the glory forever and ever and ever. And never. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This scripture is in the description area. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done it. Give a thumbs up too, please.
You guys have a great day in Jesus Christ's name.